Kedoshim, you shall be holy. Shabbat Shalom, it's so great to be with you. It's interesting. This week's Torah portion speaks about you shall be holy. God empowering the Jewish people to remember what they are and what they represent. But what is the definition of holiness? What is it that God wants from us? And what does this have to do with us in 2023? You see, it's a famous parable, example given in education about a teacher who has a child that misbehaves. And there's two ways to react to that, or a parent that has a child that misbehaves. How do you react? One way is to look at the child and tell the child, you're not a good kid. How did you do such a bad thing? Another way is to tell the child, this is unbecoming of you. You could do so much better. Think about it. The point that you want to share is why they shouldn't do it. But one of them is you empower them to be better. And the other one, you're just putting them down. God, in this week's Torah portion, wants to remind us, to empower us, the potential that each and every one of us have. And if we would only recognize our potential, we could go really, really far. By no coincidence that our son Gavi celebrates his bar mitzvah this week, the actual celebration where he'll read the Torah and party will be in a few weeks. We hope to see you. He sent you an invitation. If you have not received it, please PM me. We're going to have a beautiful a mitzvah party at Memorial Stadium, and the Gabi's going to be the Torah here on May 20th and 21st. But his actual birthday is this weekend, this Sunday. And I'm thinking about it, how special this day is. What is it about the bar mitzvah that's so special? What is it about this day that changes, a day before, a day after? Tomorrow he's just a child, tomorrow night he's an adult. It's because of that moment when the sun goes down tomorrow evening, it's the moment that he's being empowered. It's the moment that he recognizes the Gabi, we need you to lead. You're not just any other person. Until now, until your bar mitzvah, it was all training. But now, it's when the real things get going. Now is when you can change the world. Now is when you take the 12 and a half, 13 years of training that you had until now and put it into action because you are holy. There's so much you could contribute. So on this week's Parsha, on Gabi's birthday, bar mitzvah coming up tomorrow night, Sunday, we think about that and I share that with you to empower yourself, empower all around you. Wish you a great Shabbat. Looking forward to celebrate with you on May 20th and 21st at Bar Mitzvah celebration and party. Only great things ahead. Shabbat Shalom.